chocolate meat. Yeah, chocolate meat, I said it. Well, actually, dinaguan, a Filipino delicacy. Like in a lot of Filipino food, you've got simple ingredients, great results. Garlic, ginger, finger chili, onion, brown sugar, fish sauce, vitally vinegar. I mean, that's the case for all Filipino cooking, let's be realistic. We've gone for pork belly. Traditionally, you might use, say, pig ear or kidney or stomach. And most importantly, though, Amour's favourite chocolate, a nice bit of Toblerone. And that's your ingredients, chocolate meat. Hang on a minute. That's more like it. Dugo, pig blood. Now at this point, time to deal with your pig blood. First of all, try not to splash it everywhere. And so as I said earlier, vinegar, very important in this recipe. The vinegar is to stop the blood coagulating. And now, this is going to have a little bit of stabilizer, whether it's an acid, that kind of thing in it to stop it coagulating, but just in case. We'll add a tablespoon or so. As you can see, it's already coagulating on the whisk. First step, sweat off the aromatics. Pretty much the first step of any recipe that's ever been created, but just in case you didn't know. Second step, get a bigger pan. And at this point, we'll add our pork skin in as well, just to render some of the fat from it. Let's get pork belly in there and just give it a cook for three, four minutes. Just until lightly browned. So let's just crank up the heat a little bit. This has to be one of the most exceptionally useless pieces of engineering, this hob. You turn it on max, it doesn't do anything. You may have heard me say I'm browning the meat. This isn't going to happen on our hob. I have come to realize. So, next step it is.
bigger and closer to the camera. Yeah, now we're equal. I got my haircut done today and I super love it. So, off with the fake garnish. <laughs> I just bought more flowers, that's not actually edible garnish. And here we have it. Dina Guan. As Buenos would say, do go, do go. Literal do go, do go, because do go means luck. And it's literally any old cut of pork you want. Stomach, liver, lungs, kidney, belly, shoulder, intestines, intestines, and blood. Add any spices, aromatics, chilies you want, and lots of vinegar. And unconventionally brown rice because we're trying to be healthy as we eat pig's blood. Dig in, oi. Let's Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come you get the flavor very very similar to to home but honestly like you get the Filipino flavor of it. Take it's note, very nice. it doesn't smell or taste blood at all. No, not at all. You, you wouldn't know. You'd question what the texture is. It's very granular. I think it's the only way to describe it. But kind of, yeah, like black pudding. You only know it's blood because you've been brought up knowing black pudding is blood. You reckon you will eat this without knowing that it's blood? Let us know in the <laughs> comment. Anyway, it's been a long day for me. I did a two and a half hour shift. Brilliant, that's paying the bills. <laughs> but I'm all got her hair cut and is looking beautiful. I feel lighter it and was. less sh shampoo to use. That's <laughs> the important point. Saving money for those hours I didn't make today. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this interesting recipe and by all means, give it a go because it's not expensive, but it is actually really enjoyable. Maybe Hugh will take order soon, who knows? <laughs> Good night. <laughs>